What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrance, fashion, and lifestyle on this channel. So if you're interested in any of that kind of content, man, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well to get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. So guys, you see the title of today's video. This is going to be very different for me. Um, uh, it's a plea to Jeremy Fragrance. And I was in my closet uh, getting fragrances prepared to do another video and I took a look at these fragrances date for men and black tie which honestly jeremy was gracious enough he sent out uh he did a video uh, about a year and a half ago or so and he said hey influencers if you are interested in some of my fragrances you know hit me up i hit him up he sent me those as well as a nice you know 15 20 ml sample of office which I think all three of those fragrances are absolutely fantastic fragrances. And um, so I'm sitting there getting my fragrances uh, ready for my video. And I just felt led and propelled to, to do this uh, particular video. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is definitely gonna be outside of the norm of what I talk do on this channel and definitely outside of the norm of things that you're gonna see on social media. Um, I have seen so many people, man, get uh, chewed up and spit out uh, when it comes to uh, gaining notoriety on these social media platforms. The higher you get up, the more notoriety you create for yourself, the more eyes that you're gonna have on you. And unfortunately in the world that we live on today, in today, the more people that are going to be waiting to watch you fall and watch your demise. I've seen so many people on these social media platforms gain uh, celebrity status and this world chew them up and spit them out because a lot of people aren't ready for uh, the attention the notoriety that sometimes money and fame uh, bring now I don't know for a fact if uh, if Jeremy falls into that category or not I honestly don't can say that I don't know that for a fact but I can say that you know a lot of things that I've seen on social media have been um, I would say definitely I would put it in the odd a little bit odd category <laughs> Uh, definitely not the uh, the type of content that a lot of us were accustomed to seeing. Now, I myself, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are just like me. And, you know, when you first started out uh, in getting into fragrances, that it's probably be very hard for you to say that you were not influenced in some way, shape, form, or fashion by Jeremy's content um, in a positive way. I mean, there was a video that he did about five years ago. I'm going to flash it across the screen here. I've actually even did like an imitation of him on the beginning of that video. Uh, but that particular guy, I would say that I was not by myself because I've seen some of the comments. Wherever he is, we like to have him back. And like I said, I felt compelled to do this video because so many people have been influenced by Jeremy. They, it would be hard to really deny the global impact that he's had on the fragrance community as a whole. I mean, his fragrance brand. Uh, as far as subscriptions, he's the most no, uh, no, the most um, recognizable figure uh, when you talk about fragrance influences and the whole nine. And like I said, I don't think there's anybody that's subscribed to my channel or that is creating fragrance related content that hasn't been influenced uh, by what uh, he did or uh, what he has done. So that's why I felt compelled to do this because I see so many people instead of extending a hand uh, to help somebody up. People these days, man, they're just so quick to want to kick people even more when they're down. And like I said, I don't know, uh, definitely don't know what's going on with him, but I will say this. If you look at a lot of the content that he has been producing lately, there's definitely something going on. Now, there could be one or two things that play here. Number one, you know, it could be a very flagrant thing that he's doing because a lot of people do some crazy stuff to get recognized on social media for a click a subscribe or a like i've seen some of the crazy stuff you know going around like right now there's a lady that's uh, on tiktok that's wearing a short dress uh she's going around in public places and just screaming and acting an absolute nut now that's not my thing but like i said there are there's just about nothing that's off limits for a lot of people nowadays that they will do to get recognized on social media so some of this stuff or this stuff that he's doing could be fall into that category. Could be doing this very much on purpose to gain notoriety and followers on these different platforms. 
My second guess is that there's something really going on mentally. And to me, that's something very, very serious because like I said, not only in this community, but communities across the platform of YouTube, I've seen people have mental breakdowns and again, just get chewed up and spat out by the world and how harsh and vile that people can be uh, when you gain the spotlight. Because like I said, most of us aren't really ready for that side of it. Because if you're anything like me, when you picked up your phone or your camera or whatever it was, um, to start making content, most of us were just led by passion of what we had as a vested interest in or what we found to be a hobby, which for me was enjoying fragrances and smelling good. But there is a certain responsibility that you have to, to have and uh, a certain care and caution that you have to conduct yourself with um, the more that you grow. Because you at the end of the day, you have to protect yourself. Because sometimes as some people talk about reading comments, I used to be the biggest supporter of reading every single comment, but sometimes it's hard because you have to protect your mental. Because people can say some of the craziest and meanest things. And to me, it's always falls in the category of being unnecessary. Well, I've seen a lot of the comments and the things that people are saying about Jeremy on drugs and all these different things. And I'm not saying that by any stretch of the imagination because I have no clue. Uh, but I've seen some of these comments and um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about drugs. I mean, people talk about Tuscan leather smells like a brick. I don't know. I never smell cocaine, so I can't confirm nor deny that. So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, that's one of the first things that people want to do. Uh, and a lot of times it's just to get recognized themselves. They'll come at somebody that has a certain standing and try to start beef or say negative things just to get attention. And like I said, to me, that's not my style. That's why you guys don't see me beef or talk about anybody else um, on social media other than, other than it being in a very positive light. I'm talking about a fragrance or something like that or doing a tag video. That's just not my style. I think it's highly unnecessary. Because honestly, there's not much that somebody can do when they're just talking about a fragrance. What, whatever you want to say somebody's doing for monetarily, whatever, there's not much that somebody can do that's going to propel me or make me feel compelled to say something negative about somebody. It's crazy to me. You can have somebody talking about a fragrance and sharing their opinion, and somebody can come into the comment section and say the meanest, vilest thing. But to me, oftentimes, it's just because a lot of people aren't happy with themselves. That's what it comes down to. Um, and that's the only reason somebody would, would come into a comment section and say something that negative or vile about somebody um, that they really don't know and attack you physically or something about your appearance or the way that you speak or something like that. That's just not people not being happy with themselves. All right, all right hold on really quick. I got I got to roll this, roll this clip. Roll, roll this clip really quick. What's up, guys? It's coming, guys. Jeremy here. Boom! And today is an important day for you and for me, guys. The top 10 most complimented fragrances, the best, most appealing, sexiest fragrances that are currently on the market updated. You know, this is my third video. Every year, this is the most requested, the most anticipated video from you guys that you want to see and it only shows how much we all like to be appreciated by the masses why we love to dress nicely why we are uh, taking care of ourselves these 10 fragrances are all absolute superstars there's not one fragrance starting from 10 that is just like mm, okay those are all kobe Bryant's, all michael jackson's all michael schumacher's whatever you want all are absolute superstars one extra tip don't be an idiot don't be an idiot and think okay he says these fragrances are appreciated by all women of course not just like everybody on this planet loves music everybody on this planet enjoys sense you know sense but you can't please everybody with one song and you can't please everybody with one fragrance. So just beware of that. But just like there are Evergreens superstars in the music industry, these would be the Evergreens for right now that will get you immortal compliments, all right? And you see how strong this list is by seeing that I have four honorable mentions. 
Check this out, guys. Number one honorable mention, Bleu de Chanel, Eau de Parfum. Number two honorable mention, Aqua di Gio Profumo. Number three honorable mention, Molecule 01. Not so popular, but I'm gonna explain you in a second what is that. And number four honorable mention, the king of clubbing. The king of clubbing. Only an honorable mention, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultramayer. All right, guys, let's do it quickly, man. We don't have time. So I don't know about you all, but I miss that guy right there. That is the Jeremy Fragrance that we all uh, grew to know, uh, love, and if not love, at least appreciate. So here's my plea. Jeremy, if you see this video, all right, if you're doing this on purpose for the clicks and the likes, cool. But at the end of the day, please do some of these videos like that. Uh, like we just watched that clip of again. But man, if it's something really, really going on, if it's been caused by, you know, like I said, the fame, the notoriety, sometimes that success, and being in the public eye can cause, listen, man, this is the plea. Just go get the help that you need. Because I know a lot of times as men, we don't really think that way. Sometimes we think we can handle stuff uh, all on our own. But man, listen, when things start to affect us from a mental standpoint, it's very important to, uh, to go and get some help. You know, so that's my plea to you, man. If you're doing it on purpose, cool. But give us some of those videos uh, that we all grew to know and love. Give us some of that again, man. But if it's something more serious going on, just make sure that you go get the help you need, man. And people out here in the fragrance community, let's do something different for a change, man. Instead of people going and talking and doing all these kind of things, let's just pray and make sure that if it is something that's really going on with this man, that uh, that he go goes and gets the help that he needs to make sure to get his mental uh, back where it needs to be, man. Because, again, I think we all uh, could agree with one thing, that we will benefit a lot more from videos like that. Uh, than some of, the, some of the things that we've seen here um, as of late. But like I said, I want to come on and do this. So instead of, because there's a lot of things that are being said uh, negative about Jeremy. So I want us to do this. I want to do something different. Instead of talking negatively about Jeremy because of the positive impact that's had on me and other people in this community at large, I want us to do something different. All right, so everybody that comes into uh, contact with this video, I want to do something different. Instead of talking negatively, Instead of helping to perpetuate rumors and things of that nature that a lot of us don't know to be true, um, let's just, you know, maybe link up and, and say some prayers for them. If it is something going on with them mentally, because again, I know for a fact that that can happen to people when you're thrust into the spotlight on social media. If it's something like that going on, I just want to let you know him know, and I want you guys to join with me in talking positively and maybe saying some prayers for this man. Um, and extending the hand up instead of trying to kick him when he's down. But that's all I have for you today, folks. Like I said, I know this video was going to be a little bit different, something I've never done before, but I felt compelled to do it. So, you know, th there you go. <laughs> uh, like I always say, man, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy uh, here on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.